Somebody has to play it again. Like the man said, play it again. Sam. Sam. Who's in? Who's in? Who's in with gays? Oh, you're tilting. It's a good tilt. Hey, everybody. We did it. Oh, we did my it. gosh. It's, all of a sudden, that big old light over there is now in my eyes. I got to do like this for it not to be there. Mm. Oh, let's see. We're doing a Sunday night. It's Sunday night. Let's see if anybody joins us on a Sunday night. Will anyone show up? Will anyone come? I, I need to have tomorrow. a big sip of a green drink. All right, let's do it. No one's here. This we, is you so, and this me. is just you and me. Mm. You and me. Ah. That is, you know, this is a good drink for It's a good summer drink. It's a good summer it's drink. It's a good summer drink. I don't know what's going on. Oh, one person's here. Hi, so, one person. So excited. Who are Say you? Hello. You Say are hi. a favorite person here. There's no one else around. So, There's no one else in the room. So we are Nobody doing, knows. shall we talk about the drink we're doing? We're doing cucumber martinis. Cucumber martini. And I went online. So this is what happened. Can I share what happened? Yes, I think you should share what happened. This is what happened. And during this time of year, I like making tzatziki, which is kind of like a, what, a Middle Eastern, Greek, Turkish. I'm not really quite sure it's derivation. Sorry, people. But I like making it. It's a cucumber salad, basically. And I make it with Greek yogurt. Yes. Greek and, yogurt. And so you box cut the cucumbers. Box cut. And I, and then it says, you know, and really drain it, really squeeze it dry. So it's, it isn't, it it isn't dry. a wet salad. And I this happened last week. And I said, what if I saved the cucumber juice? And so I squosed, I squosed the cucumbers. I had cucumber squosed juice, it. which I have to say, I don't know why this appeals to me. I think that's a cucumber a, juice. It's a pretty color. There so you go. This is me. This is not like a fancy machine I have. I did not cuisinart it or juice it or anything like that. I squose it with my squoze hands. Squoze it with his own hands. And you know, this is that's why I still my husband because I didn't squoze. squeeze the whole cucumber. I, I grated squoze. Hey, Jerry. And so now I have tzatziki and juice for our cocktails. Drink, for our cocktails. Jerry's here. Barbara's here. Ashley's here. Hell, is a party. Let's make it work. It is a party. So, so this is so this is cucumber juice. It is vodka. It's muddled with mint, and there's a little mm. bit of elderflower, and it's so refreshing. It doesn't feel like elderflower. It feels like junior flower. Feels like junior flower. I want to talk about the heat. <laughs> it feels like it's, yo, it's hotter it's, than titties. So you know, in Southern California, we we've, we've sort of lucked out. We've, we've been reading about how hot it is all over the country, and in Southern California, we're like, ooh, not us yet, not us yet. This is the week. It has hit, and it's hit hard. We were at 110, 107. And honey, there was no shade. And I, No I, tea, no shade. And I got to say, I would hate to have been in the desert. You know, can you imagine? The uh, de uh, Death Valley was 127 degrees, y'all. 127 degrees. Yes. So anyway, we have had heat. We have fans going. Air conditioners trying to Hi, work. Hi, Ashley. Hey, trying Barbara. Trying to work. Trying hey, babe. to work. So... I have an image. Can I share an oh, image? Oh, share the image. Share it. Oh, by the way, before you share it, I do want to say this. We're going to be going back to a regular schedule. It's just that I'm in a show, and it's hard to do Friday nights. It's hard to do Thursday nights. So we might do a little Sunday. Sundays are good for us right now. But we're doing Sunday next week, too. Let's Sunday clear, next week as well. So, Sunday yeah. at 730, at yeah. least Pacific Standard Time. So I have an image I want to I want share. to see an image. Oh my gosh. I know. You didn't know I was going to do this. I had no idea you were going to do that. Did not know. So at International City Theater in Long Beach, they were doing Valley Song by Athol Fugar. Did I say his name correctly? Mm. Kind of? I don't know. I don't know. I already told Athol. Neither one really sounds right to me. And that is my husband, Michael A. Shepard. And that is, tell us the other actress Disney. That is Belle Guillory. Guillory. That's it. Belle Guillory. And it is an awesome play. They have a couple more weeks. Well, one more week. One more week. We have four more shows. Four more, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For Long those Beach. Those of you that can get to Long Beach, California. I highly, is. highly, highly recommend because this one, this one right here, who gets on my everlasting hey, last nerve. Yes, this I do. one. Yes, I no, do. No, you child. do such an amazing job in this show. It's a hard show. It's a very hard show. I play two, sometimes three, maybe four, almost five. Characters. You're like Sybil. <laughs> no, what is it? Uh, uh, all of, no, uh, what is it? The the movie Eve, Eve Black, Eve White. Three faces. Three of faces Eve. of Eve. 
That's who I am, honey. I'm the three faces no, of the in my head. You're and civil. Wait, the people, the, the people. people, the people, the people, the people, the yeah, people, the people. Remember that. Hey, Steve, we miss Chilo. you, buddy. Awesome, awesome. And then you know, I, you know, my friend Andrea from college came to see the show today, which is really cool. That had to be cool. I know, but I've seen her in the, thir- thirty years. Uh oh, thirty years. So international city Hi, Pip. theater. I haven't, turned, I haven't returned I'm, your I'm phone t- call I'm, yet. You got, and you're not sell, you're not telling them where to see your show. All right, international international city, theater, city theater, Long Beach, California. There we go. Yes. Image number two. Oh, more images. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Y'all. He said I flew I, twenty hours. I flew twenty. I hours. flew straight. straight. Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal reveals he's a flat earther because he believes you can travel the world in a straight line. He's like, I flew 20 hours and never once was I upside down. Sherry Barrett was at the show last night. What's up? He said he was never upside down. He was down never upside down. Because so the earth must be flat. The earth must be flat. The earth must be flat. This is what I want to ask an earther. If the earth is flat, what's on the other side? Where do the oceans go? Hey, Adam. Just wondering. Where does everything go? Where does it, does the ocean fall off the edge and we just regenerate ocean? I mean, what is how does that work? I don't understand. No, I, I don't, don't understand. understand. The man said that the earth is flat because he threw, flew 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this, I, I, so I try to do research on almost everything we talk about. And I found this interview between him and Jimmy Kimmel. And Jimmy's like, Shaq. Tell me, and this is from years ago. He's gone on and off of I believe in it, I don't believe. On on Kimmel, he was like, nah, I was just talking. But now he's talking about it. So I but think he, it really stop saying those things. He keeps thinking stop about it. Stop saying it. He keeps thinking, hmm, I'm never upside down in the plane. Because planes can fly yeah. upside down. Hey Larissa. Well, because I think, think he, oh. if this is his basic thinking, right? If this is the earth, right? Like my head is the earth and he's up here and he flew 20 hours. He's down here. He's thinking is at some point I have to be upside down. It is a Herschel Walker situation. I agree with that. one hundred. I'm a nama he ma ha ma ha ma na ma ni ma. So this is, this is Running me. Running for office. This is me. Oh wait, I, this is me doing. Um, okay. I, I guess we should do this. I have, Sharon, I Monroe, what, Sharon Monroe wants to know what we're drinking. These are cucumber martinis, freshly squeezed cucumber juice, vodka, a little elderflower. And, and we we can squeeze lime in it. I cut some. I'm gonna see what things. it looks like. I'm just, like just a put little, a little bit little of little acid. Lime. Yeah, yeah. Little lime. I forgot to do this. I'm gonna do this right now. Everyone enjoy. It looks like that was boobs. for you, John Michael. Beck. Bits and bobs. Bits and boobs. Because this is just there's not one connection in the up top of our show from one thing to the next. It's literally random thoughts. Sharon said this should have been made with gin. And I can see that. The problem is I'm getting really fucked up with gin lately, Mm -hmm. Sharon. Hey, Miss Heidi. All right. Bits and bobs. Some bits and bobs. Come on, babe. Let's do it. Go. All right. Y'all. I don't know how many of y'all are nerds, a bunch of you. So this is the new, this is called the Edge of the Spider-Verse. This is the new art for the Edge of the Spider-Verse. And honey, Miss Spidey is as gay as a clutch purse on Tony Sunday. Very nicely said. I know. I've stolen that I line said, several times. I think it could have been on Tony Fields, too. <laughs> to- as a as clutch gay as Hush Foster because he knows who Tony Fields as is. As a clutch purse on so, Tony Fields. I saw this image, and it was in like a Which little one? gay Which one? The thing. first one? This, I saw both of these images. Because it was the like, same artist. Yeah. And I and it's for the first image with with the with the finger pointing to the chest is genius. That's just like and the other one. It's well, all about me. The other one is just walking the runway. It's all there's, about there's me. There's a lot of RuPaul in the second. One. Yes, you better spin. You better, yeah. Anyway, so this image was in a magazine, an online magazine, and a queer magazine, and it said, you know, look, we're so excited because you know Spider Man is gay, in one of the Spider Verses, and so. And I, I don't, I shouldn't do it. I read the comments. You read the- I read the comments. I'm wondering, you know what I'm wondering, Michael? Might anyone in this country be against Spider-Man being gay? I don't know. <laughs> but, hey, Susan, welcome, honey. Um, what I read, though, that really got to <laughs> we me. We have to do this. What is that? Barbara Haas, because gin is a poison. <laughs> gin <laughs> of the inebriation is fighting the poison. You might be right. Last last time we did Boozing with Gays, we did gin. 
I was the most shit faced I've ever been Baby. on this show. I've not seen that level of shittiness in a long time. Oh my bro. goodness! Oh my goodness! All right. So anyway, going back to Spider Verse, right? Yes. Show the picture one more time, baby. Yes. So there was a lot of comments about this picture, and you know. Oh, that's right. Because the comments weren't from straight people. So you the comments, comments were from people. gay yeah. men, and I want everyone to look at that and tell me what your thoughts are on this. Tell me what your thoughts are, particularly Bill Amber. Positive or negative? Positive or negative? Do because you think I have, yay? Do you think ooh, maybe not? Because I have some thoughts. One, there's a lot of gay men on there going, well, how dare they? Mm. How dare they? Doing another gay stereotype. We don't want to see gay people like that, which for me erases the fact that femme queer men exist. Now, how many are- Femme queer men exist. How many comments like that? There's like 15. Oh, so, but they were like- Hey, Vicky. That basically Spider-Man is too fat. Yeah, it's like, don't make him femme. Make him him look like a man. Make him look like he's a gay man that likes football. What? I've got two thoughts because one- Yes. Queer, femme men exist. They exist. And they have, they can all have superpowers. And and do the things- and, and do everything, you know, clutch. we've seen drag queens are more thick skinned than anybody in the world. Oh my God, they carry, you know? they carry razor blades. Yeah, come on. So mm. why can't Spider-Man be a queer, queer man, a queer femme man? Secondly, yes, I like the idea that he is presenting the way that he is presenting as femme because it lets people know that are more heteronormative that guess what? Them men exist, and they do fierce things. And they're awesome. It's like that's yes. that's the image that's out there because you have to look at it and see that it's a queer man. But do you feel and like, that makes a point for me? Do you that's feel my like thoughts. the image of the gay man in pop culture, like on TV and in movies, that the gay character, hey, the, more, the more mainstream gay character, is is trying to be more Tony Ventura? I'm trying to Sorry, ask a question. You better ask a question. I'm not going to get through a question if you do what you're doing. That's my problem. That's question. my that's my husbandly moment of the night. Yeah. No, well, I'm just wondering. Do you think they're getting too like you know you have, there are there are actors out there that are gay that are playing gay, but they're playing it very like I'm a straight. I'm really kind of very masculine Look, in this. I mean, do you think that there's too much of that? Is my question. I don't think you can play into the binary because people want to put either uh, queer men as cis. Like yeah. these, as sissy, and not sis. Sis is, as sissy, sissy, sissy or me. as butch, straight acting. Yeah, one or the other. Straight acting, or you know, and very we're kind fair. of dealing. What do I love? And it? in the spectrum, spectrum. It, we're all over the place. The it's more just you that, know, it's just that I think people. I think a lot of queer men have taken on this. Like, oh, I, I for me to fit into society as a man, I got to act like this. I got to do that, and I got to do I this. I have, and I don't think that's right. The perfect video. Wait. Okay, perfect video, here we go. This is Michael's video. Once again, bits and bobs, it doesn't really have to connect. I saw him with mine own eyes depart the old yarn yurt with a pink woolen thread, most shameful. Yeah. It's not pink, it's fuchsia. Oh. He's a knitter, 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 knitter. No, no, I'm not a knitter, no. <gasps> Or is he? Would y'all and hear? And if he was a knitter, is it okay? <laughs> and the other question is, what did y'all hear? I, you know, Michael sent this to me. I had no idea what I was looking at. Literally, I didn't know. I didn't know Arthur. I wasn't raised with Arthur. I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't have that reference. What so, did y'all hear? What did you all hear? And this is not. Put that in the comments. I want to know what y'all this heard. This was not something that was manipulated. This is a children's show. This is a clip of an actual children's show drop my pen i know i'll get it don't worry not okay. it doesn't really matter from 19 from 2010 from 2010 from 1910 from, the 1900s. from, from 2010 arthur what you guys think put in the, put your thoughts in the, thank you pip i heard it because you know what's interesting the first go around, of course, I heard. Do you want me to say? I don't. Know, maybe I should say. Are you holding? Are we holding? Are we holding better? I don't know. What are you? What are you? What? Did, I don't know. What did you think you heard? No, I didn't hear it. But what well, am I going to tell you? Am I saying this? Can I say what I want to uh-huh. say now? I didn't hear the N word, but I heard the reference towards the N word. That's what I thought. But the fact that then when you go, oh, I didn't use pink yarn. I used fuchsia. <gasps> Like that whole thing made me think that Arthur's gay. So I had a whole like, whatever he is, whatever the thing is, 
It's certainly referencing stuff, and it's on children's TV. There we go. Arthur is the shit. shit. I agree with you. Arthur is the shit. But I was like, I'm not a what? I'm sorry, what'd you say, sir? Sir, what did you... And you know, Republicans aren't watching this or that would have been all over the airwaves. <laughs> what, are you, what are you watching, sir? I'm sorry. You're not a what? You're what? Mm, that's mm. what I heard. Bits and bobs, bits and boobs. Bits and that's bobs. what I heard. So what's next, baby? We have another image. We have lots of imagery tonight. I, well, you know, imagery. You like this. I stuff. took my glasses off because they were shining in the thing. But it's the... Oh, yo, look at that. I know... Honey, so those are the new HB, HC, mm. I'll do it for you if you want. HB, HBCU, ABC, HBCU dolls. dolls. So a woman, can I do the thing? Do it. Do I mean to do it? A woman, her name is Brooke Hart Jones. She um, wanted to buy, black woman wanted to buy a doll for her niece. She was like totally into buying a doll for her niece. She goes, I want an HCBU. Now, first of all, I, white person, had to go, what is HCBU? Historic, historically black colleges and universities. Historic black college and universities. So she, because she went to Howard, Howard, no, she went to Hampton University. And she wanted to, to encourage her niece to also go to an HCBU. Yes. And so she wanted a doll and there were none. So during the pandemic, this woman makes dolls and makes the HCB. Look, look at this. I thought this was so beautiful. So there's a doll. Like with, so she's kind of the size of an American oh, girl. Oh, shoot. I didn't get the thing. I'll get the thing. You keep, are you going to get it? Yeah. So, yeah. So you I'll keep talking. I she's mean, the I kind size of, did of an thing. American girl doll. She is just gorgeous. And so he's going to get something because, as you know, we have a 16-year-old uh, child who uh, went out with a friend um, uh, shopping the other day at the, uh, at the mall and found this doll. And they lost their mind about this doll because all they kept talking about is that it fixes their inner child. And if their inner child had seen this type of doll when they were five or six years old, it would have made them feel better about themselves and about their hair. And so when she texted me and says, can I buy this with your credit card? I was like, absolutely. This is the doll that my six-year-old Max bought for themselves. Look Which is, that. I mean, that is so Maxwell, it's ridiculous. Number one, the style is very like our child. And, and one of the things that Max said is, look at that hair. And I it, haven't feels, had- it feels like I have hair. And even like American Girl, when we did get like the black American Girl dolls, like the hair was very She loose. had a Diane Carroll wig <laughs> from the Diane Carroll collection. Those older black folks who are here, remember the Diane Carroll collection that was in the back of Ebony magazine? Oh, she actually had a wig? Thing. Yes. Don't look at me like that. that. Ava Gabor had it too. We're supposed to know everything about them, but they don't know shit about us. Well, that was mean. Yes. That was just yes, mean. It was. See what I'm saying? Pour me some more. See what I'm saying? See, you don't make it like I do. I make like batches. Image. You made one. Here's an image. Baby! Look at that. So, on... On the, on the left, we already did the one on the left. That's Iman, of course, at the, um, at the Met Gala this year, which mm-hmm. was a couple months back. And on the right, well, first of all, look at that. Hey, Maldadel. Look Holy at that. Look at Iman Lord. on your left. But it's Lil Nas X on the little. right. I don't think you little. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. You just say Nas. It's Nas. Nas. Lil Nas X. It's like we know him. So he wore this to the uh, VMAs. The VMA Awards. The VMA. And, the and, Video Music Awards for y'all who don't know. Because I was like, I don't know anybody but Lil Nas X who was there. And so <laughs> there was this whole fun rivalry between we have to, Iman. We have to do this. We have to do this. But, Harris Reed designed both dresses. Harris Reed this. designed both dresses. That's all I have to say. And they are, well, once, well, I don't know if we can call them dresses. Because I don't think what he's wearing is a dress. Call I think he's an wearing outfit. an outfit. Those are outfits. They Those both- are gorgeous outfits. But in looking at these, in looking at these amazingly beautiful outfits, I was like, what does this remind me of? Who is the original archetype of this situation? Go. Cher. But damn. Cher wore it first, honey. Miss Cher said, this is what I'm wearing. Do you remember what she said? 
What did she say? That was the year. I just a little understated or something like that. Yeah, she didn't win for mask or something. I can't remember what it was. She wasn't nominated for. Oh, she wasn't nominated for mask. Was that was the thing? And she goes up and she goes, I went through my Academy rule book and I had to wear something that met. I don't know. She said something fabulous. That I, can't I wish I could remember what it was. I, I now want the words. I know. I blew it. I blew it. She wore something just, you know, understated. Understated. Show Cher again. We got to see Cher one more time. Look at that. Miss Cher was letting you have it. Wearing Bob Mackie. Of so I'm saying that Cher inspired all now, of Now, one of the things, once again, I did research on the, on the two other outfits these two right there uh -huh. and iman said it at the met gala oh the headdress it weighs practically nothing nas is like no this fucker's heavy <laughs> so they have a Honey, discrepancy it looks on the heavy. headdress <laughs> she look heavy but i'm there for it i am there for it all Period. right oh we have to oh. get yes oh, i thought you had something else did you have something else you wanted to share I was going to move forward. Oh, God, we have a lot of stuff we can share. Yes. Come okay. On. This is what I'll do. We're going to do the the, crea do do? the creative art. Yeah, you want to know this. I do want to know because you so, told me not to look. The creative art Emmys have been announced. They were announced tonight and, okay. and, and, and last night. And so um, some of the awards, I decided I would take a picture of who has won. And I thought maybe these awards. Spoiler alert. These winners. No, it's already happened. It's not like, it's not a spoiler. Well, you don't know. I mean, but, well, you I mean, don't know. There's you not really, still say spoiler alert. It's not alert. like you go on TV and watch the ceremony. Well, maybe there's somewhere you could watch the ceremony. I don't know. You anyway, you kept moving my thing around. But here, I'm just going to show you a couple. That's Do I? all. Here we go. Oh, you've got to be It didn't go up? Today. Here, you talk for a second. I'll just. Oh, I'll just I will just talk for a second. So I have to say, so my dog, dog is, is out outside. in the backyard, and um, this drink is so good. And they're, they're, they're like, there's the first one. Thing. Talk it through. All right, I can't see it. Oh, Chad McBose, Chadwick Boseman won. That was yesterday. He won yesterday. Oh, you already know all these. Mm. But look at that list. I mean, the list is like a bunch of awesome people. Two of the actors Jeffrey. have passed away. Jessica Walter. Yeah, and Chadwick, and Chadwick Boseman. But I thought, well, he won an Emmy. You got an he, Emmy. He didn't get the Oscar, but he won. You got a, you know, a posthumous Emmy. I'll stay directly for a variety series, Black Lady Sketch Show. Okay, y'all, listen. If y'all are not watching Black Lady Sketch Show, y'all need to. It's on HBO Max. It is delicious. Go, Just go on and watch clips. They're all over YouTube. Just go watch clips from it. It is so funny and so right now. I, I, I Would you it. say HBO Max it is? Yes. We, I, see, having that dog outside is just going to drive me crazy. How about this right. one? I'll say, come on, Lizzo. Lizzo, watch out for the big girls. Hold on, you talk to her for a second. I didn't, hear, I didn't know Lizzo won. What Hold are you? On. What are you doing? I'm getting something. Hold on. Oh, I know what he's getting. We have to let our dog. So, I'm Mike, 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 Michael, I don't. Never mind. I'm just going to keep talking. So, oh, this is all for him. This whole segment is for him. So he could, Michael, get your ass back here. And we come to a halt on Boozin with Gays. I'll find something else to talk about. I thought I knew where it was. Come here now. All right, I'm coming right now. It's in. <laughs> People are talking about us badly. What are they saying? I don't know what they're saying. Oh, look at this. My boy George shirt. Do you really want to hurt me? Oh. Do you really want to make me cry? Let me just say this about a boy, because y'all know I had a moment or two with him. And he didn't really want to hurt me or make me cry. Are, are, you, are you continuing the story? Because I'm letting the whiny dog inside, if you are. Oh, let the whiny dog in. It's OK. It's hey, Maria. Hey, Rose, so wait, I do. I can't even think where we are in this whole thing. We oh, you saw Lizzo. So what, this, else we, what else happened? This happened. RuPaul's, well, OK. One, one again. That's like number six or seven. And. I wanted Nicole Byer to win. I nailed it. But, 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 right. but I, I did that so fast. People could even read. So I'm sending host for reality program, RuPaul. So I mean, no, no, Nicole Byer was nominated. He just, so he's won like how many years in a row now? I have like six, six or seven. seven years in a row. And this, this makes me particularly happy. What is it? This last one I'm going to show you. And it's going to make a particular individual exceptionally angry. Did you find it? No. Is it a friend of ours? No, not at all. No, okay. Who is it? It's our ex-president. Do it. What would make him the most angry in the world? He didn't win. Or did Joe Biden no, win? Barack Obama. Barack Obama! Barack Obama now has an Emmy. 
Donald Trump is so freaking pissed off. <laughs> Right now. Donald Trump should be in jail. <laughs> Donald Trump should be doing nothing else but, but being in way, jail right now. This brings us to the Donald Trump segment. I kind of this dog is just whining. Let the dog in. Okay, so we're about to talk about some shit now because we're going to talk about fun stuff and who to who and what to what and how to hide. But listen, uh, Matthew Black, listen. Oh, honey, we didn't put. Uh, I'll tumble for you. A oh, rose, he did. I'll tumble twice. <laughs> he tumbled for me. All right, so we're going to talk about some serious shit now because it's all right, we're going to start off with the fact that this week is, uh, hey, Sumac, this week is Overdose Awareness Week. And we want to just let, reach out to people because it is a very serious disease that in 2021, over 100,000, 100,000 people died from an overdose. And most of those were, were from fentanyl abuse. And I just want to say, if you notice something, say something. Call your friend. Reach out. Let people know. That's very good advice. Reach out and let people know that you are there for them. Because there have been people who have, in our life, Jesus, who you keep, you keep dropping keep, stuff. I'm like, I'm got like, the drop. As my, as they used to say, old black folks say, child, you got it. to drop. I just it. like fondling things. This is my issue at the moment. That's why I keep them. So I, I had this, I had this um, whole thought the other day. I said, you know, when Jen Psaki was was the press secretary, yes, like there were Psaki bombs all over the place, and I thought, you know, we haven't really heard a Corinne Jean Pierre bomb. I don't know what her bomb would be called. You got to come up with the idea. Or if anyone wants to come up with it, I think we should start coining the phrase. Here she comes. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> so. Uh, evidently, Peter Ducey from Fox was was kind of going on about well, why isn't the Biden I think, administration I think we doing call anything? Peter Dukey. Dukey. about you know why isn't Biden administration doing anything about fentanyl abuse? Well, they just got a bunch of money going into it yeah, this right. week, so um, I'll, I'm going to let like thirty five million dollars. I'm going to let Corinne Jean Pierre continue this because she did it beautifully. I think that's incredibly important to this president. So to say that we're not doing enough, Peter, is just falsely, categorically wrong, especially on a day that we are observing what needs to be done and. And we have announced, DHS has announced, $80 million to prevent that. So we are doing the work. And here's the thing, Peter, if, look, if Republicans want to help us stop overdose and stop our kids getting overdose because of these dangerous drugs, because of these fentanyl that we're seeing in the streets, we're happy to work with them. But they're not. I'm moving on. Peter. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Let I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one thing. No, I'm gonna do one thing. I'll say it, I'm gonna start this one more time. Look at the two people on the left. They don't really change. Look at them. I'm just gonna play it for three seconds. Look I think at that's them. incredibly important to this president. So to say that we're not doing enough, Peter. <laughs> They're like children of the corn. They're over there going, mm. and he's fondling a pen like I do, which I don't like. He's totally like all he did was font Peter Ducey. Dookie, you said? Peter, Peter Dookie. Dookie. Just fondled a pen and look mad. Hey, Christy Man. Gonna be mad. Let's talk about this, though. No, no, because, no. I don't want to. No, uh, I'm moving on. I am no, moving on. I gotta say one thing. I'm I gotta moving say on. one thing. No, I'm, I gotta doing, say one. I'm doing Kareem. I gotta say I'm one thing. On. No, I gotta say one thing. <laughs> I gotta say one thing. <laughs> that um, 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper has never been talked to like that by a black woman before. Because he was like, oh, oh no. 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 No, he didn't do that. He, he was, was like, mad. He was like, oh, he had a. He had, she ooh. said, I'm moving on. No. I don't think you heard me. <laughs> so we got to come did everything anyway, but like go like this. Put it <laughs> in our thing. What's a Karinja? We got to have a Saki bomb equivalent. She hey, was, Kathy Walker. Well, she was Jean Pierre. She was baby. <laughs> she was she JP. was Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre. I got to get the top of the thing. She got Jean Pierre. <laughs> Boo. Because right now, because you know, look, let's be clear. Like, there are a lot of folks of the, you know, Caucasian persuasion who have never been talked like that before to a black woman in power. And his face said everything and it made me happy, gave me great joy. And he and she had the power in the room to not continue with him. We're done. done. We're done. We're done. Close down. No, no, no. You better stop. <laughs> Go to. <laughs> I'm from the islands, bitch. Come for me. All right. <laughs> Joke, yeah. All right. We're moving on. Boring. Well, we're continuing. This, so, right. you know, I read this thing. It's kind of been a Biden, like three weeks of Biden just boom, 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 getting his stuff done. Sorry. 
You might have mm. missed my half. Oh, glass. you know what? I made that much better. Look at that. Taste that. What did you do in this one? Do you think? I just, I just poured. I didn't like measure. Wait, we didn't measure. We're literally. I just poured just... that one, and it's better. Larissa, I just poured that shit. And it oh, that's good. Balanced. Isn't that good? Now if we can figure out exactly what that balance. I don't know what I. I poured just some shit in the thing, poured and I just shook the shit. Boom. Boom. All right. So anyway, take care of yourselves. Take care of your friends. Look after people. All right. What's the what we were talking about? Jean Pierre. <laughs> okay. Our president did a speech. Tink, 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 he tink, did. Tink. Um, I, I don't know if I got the best clips. What it might, or the kind of the most amazing takeaway for me is he went after MAGA Republicans and he constantly went after them, said they were ruining democracy, on and on. Here's a couple of pieces that I got. At the very end, he's commenting on a heckler. And I want to remind everyone that when a heckler happened, when Donald Trump spoke, he's like, hey, take him out back and beat him up. And uh, Biden has a bit of a different way of dealing with stuff like that. Democracy endures only if we, the people, respect the guardrails of the republic. Only if we, the people, accept the results of free and fair elections. Democracy cannot survive when one side believes there are only two outcomes to an election. Either they win or they were cheated. I will not stand by and watch. I will not the will of the American people be overturned by wild conspiracy theories and baseless evidence-free claims of fraud. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they lost. Look, our democracy is imperfect. It always has been. Notwithstanding those folks you hear on the other side there, they're entitled to be outrageous. This is a democracy. He got tremendous applause for that, actually. It's a democracy. Include. He's like, no, they have a right to have their free speech. They have a right to do that. And can just contrast it with anything the previous president did. All right, so let me just talk about this speech because he called folks out. He said, I'm going to name it. Yes. We gonna name it today. And he was, and he really hasn't named, he, you know, MAGA Republicans, the whole thing. He's kind of you know, been a bit more circumspect with that. But he to, said, I'm going to name it. In, yeah, no, in this one, he said, I'm naming it. Y'all are fascists. They're ruining democracy. Yeah, see, down the line. Y'all are fascists. And all of a sudden, y'all little folks, all of a sudden getting mad because he called y'all out. He called you out by your name. And that's how we know you mad. Hey, Terry, that's how we know you mad. He called y'all out by your name. Ha <laughs> ha! I like doing oh that. <laughs> it's Jennifer because, Lewis. Every time you do it, it's Jennifer Lewis in my head. I don't know. Just what I say. I look in the mirror and I say, pretty bitch. And he, I, I, he said, and then Trump came on and was talking some shit, saying, we're, uh, we're, mad. we're not fascists. You're the enemy of the people. And I'm like, enemy there's of, images enemy every enemy of the state. Enemy of the people is a good play, though. That's a good play. So this, well, just to be specific, he had a rally, Trump had a rally in Pennsylvania, and... Wilkes Bar. John Wilkes Bar. That sounds like a place you would like to drink. Where should we go? Where are we going? How about oh, Wilkes, Wilkes Bar? Bar is open. <laughs> I believe the Wilkes Bar is open. Are they serving cucumber martinis? I believe they are. Love it. Let's go. And then we get killed. I honestly want to Both know what you did. That is much better. So good. And I don't know why with the Sharon. Sharon. Our friend Sharon Monroe better. shares like she's Jesus shaking H. Her. Christ, not measuring. Not measuring. How Goodness dare you? Gracious. How dare you, peoples? All right, anyway. But I'm like, at the Trump rally, there were I mean what there's seven. Seven stands that were selling Nazi flags with Trump's name on it. And what did they say? Like there the, were people and it was dressed as like Nazi. The, the, the same day as his speech, there was a Nazi rally in downtown Indianapolis. But also there were shirts that were like the new Auschwitz. or I mean, like all this Nazi paraphernalia. And yet, and yet. Don't tell us their names. They don't want to be called Nazis. This is the. This Welcome is, back, Bernard K. Addison. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. All these people saying, oh, there's, you know, was it snowflakes and da, 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 da. Y'all oh punk ass little bitches. <laughs> That's what y'all are. You Nazi flag wearing punk ass bitches. 
Say something. I honestly can't find oh. everything that we have in this whole thing. Are you drunk? Drunky. I don't think I am. Well, I'm I'm a little a little distilled. <laughs> is this what I want? This is what I want. I don't know. This is what exactly what I want. No, you sent me this, and I thought this was such an oh, interesting commentary on today. Oh, I did send this to you. Yeah, here we go. So this is, I mean, boom. The only difference between the Nazis in 1933 and the Nazis in 2022 is that none of the Nazis in 1933 were in denial about the fact that they were Nazis. Thank you, Scary Larry. Scary Larry said that. That's the truth right there. Boom. Y'all don't want to admit it because you know what it says. The same way y'all don't want to say, oh, we're not racist. We just don't want... Thank you, Beth. Those folks. <laughs> I don't want those. Fa- I'm not drunk. I'm a little those folks. still. No. I don't want those. Those folks. Okay. We have to talk about this. Okay. Let's do it. it. This, didn't this, this, happen, shit, that's what we do. We talk, bitch. It what? It didn't happen last week because, well, I drank too much. But what happened? What happened last week? You're about to knock your drink over. Okay. So Anthony Daniels, who's part of the House of Rep, he's a he's a Democrat, House of Representatives okay. in Alabama, right? Alabama. Mm-hmm. He posted. Okay, we I move things around. Ding 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 ding. This is when someone said you need to have your own like whatever. He posted this. Shame on Lawrence County Republican Party for this disgusting image. Now, what do you Can see? Can we see the, the whole image? That is the whole image. What do you see in the image? Uh, that's actually not. No the no whole no. no. Image. What do you see in this image? I'll let me ask him. That is three Ku Klux Klan hats. Exactly. It's three Ku Klux Klan hats within the elephant. And so the Lawrence County Republican Party in Alabama has chosen that image, that image of Republican Ku Klux Klanism to be their image. They, 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 they went online. And so they, then they go, wait a minute. No, we didn't want to be disrespectful. We didn't want to do anything wrong. We just thought we were choosing a image of an elephant. And this is like the, the woman who has taken over the, the, the party. Her name is something. It doesn't really matter. Former slave owner. Former slave owner. Former slave owner, uh, Ginny. So, <laughs> so. Thomas. I, do, I thought I was thinking of like a knitting Ginny, like a, like a Ginny. No, Ginny Thomas. Ginny Former Thomas. slave over Ginny Thomas. The original image is this. Actually, it's from a Mother Jones article. So that means that this group in Alabama go, we need an image of an elephant. And they came across this and they go, that's it. That's what we want. That's perfect. And then they go, oh, we didn't know it had, we didn't understand the references. We thought it was elephant poop. And this is, I mean, they have, we have friggin' Nazis, Ku Klux Klansmen in this country now, actively in this country. I like doing that. Keep it up. I want to do that one more time. But that is amazing to me. No, it's amazing to white people. It's not amazing to well, black no, people. Well, no, it is amazing to white people. I it think is you're not absolutely amazing right to black that. people. That I is, think that you're is, right. I think you're right. That well, is what, some white that's people, what's amazing. I believe there's some white people out there that are much more savvy than I am. That's what I believe. I'm just saying. I I am amazed. Am I shocked? Jimmy Warren's here. What's up? Happy Ooh, birthday oh, to you. you. Happy birthday. birthday. Two days ago. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Jennifer Lee Warren, Warren, who sang our theme song. Happy birthday to you. So yes, ah, how? She Ooh, how many better, notes was that? She does it better than you. She that was a lot of so notes. Much. Can you teach him? That was Can a lot of keys and a lot of Jennifer, notes. Jennifer, please. Adrian Kaplan's here. She was at my show today. She was at my show today. Hi, not. Anyway, let's talk about this. Act, are you acting? What is happening? You're going to say something. This, this drink. Because you think say. it's like, you think that because there's cucumber Can I juice. Can tell you something? I'm going to the gym at 7.45 tomorrow morning. Good luck. <laughs> I have an appointment. Oh, it's that. So we have one more Joe Biden thing we have to talk about. All right, what is it? So he um, he is going to cancel a lot of debt. Of, of, of debt Ten to $20,000 worth of student debt. Of student debt. So, I mean, here we're dealing with 43 million federal student loan borrowers that could be relieved of at least 10,000 up to Honey, if someone said, here's $10,000 and they took it all directly off my debt, but this, don't send them the $10,000 check. I'm going to tell you now because my sister called me once and she said, my, my my sister Charlotte, just just to clarify, she's gone on to glory as the black folks say. 
But she called me and goes, can you send me a check to pay my rent? I was like, I'll send it directly to the rent agency. No, baby, just send it right to me. Okay, you're actually proving anyway the Republicans' point in that whole essay thing that you just essay. There wasn't an essay. That was a dissertation. That was an exposition. That was a. I I, I hope I didn't agree with a Democrat. I agree with a little, uh, person <laughs> with a, uh, a MAGA hat. So Lauren Boebert, mm-hmm. woman, that piece of shit, woman who barely has a high school education, said this about. You know Biden and the. And she has a GED, and we're gonna give her credit for that because she went ahead I and got her GED. GED. How dare yes, you? Yes, a GED. Yeah. And Lauren Boebert. Like Why that. are you saying it with with like that. commentary? Uh, how the heck can Joe Biden call America First conservatives a threat to democracy with a straight face and a dry diaper? He's the one who has allowed millions to invade our southern border. He's the one who is robbing hardworking Americans to pay for Karen's daughter's degree in lesbian dance theory. This is Karen's daughter. She is getting her degree in lesbian dance theory. And she's fierce. Can I tell you something? The amount of of idiocy in that sentence is really insurmountable. Oh my God, lesbian dance theory. Lesbian dance theory. If you go online and go on Twitter and type in lesbian dance theory, the number of lesbians on Twitter, right? Or not oh, Twitter, I sorry, on I TikTok. On TikTok. The number of lesbians on TikTok. Why didn't you give te- me those responses? Because we, because I've lesbian been working so much. Da- oh no, you can't. I, no, I, no, my fault. Mine, no. I'll own it. I want a lesbian dance theory TikTokist to talk <laughs> about this. I'll try to get one. Ted Cruz, on the other hand, said this. Oh, I have to say this. I did mash up Ted Cruz with something else. As I, told I like you. to mash up Ted Cruz. Mash Not up. smash, but mash. This is what he said. If if you are that that slacker barista who 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 wasted seven years in college studying completely useless things, now has loans and can't get a job, Joe Biden just gave you twenty grand. Like holy cow, twenty grand that. You know, maybe you weren't going to vote in November and suddenly you just got 20 grand. And, you know, if you can, you know, get off the bong for a minute and and, and head down to the voting station. So I. (laughs) There's so many things wrong with what that is. It is so many. So I I watched. I read a thing that said, you know, that, that, that Ted Cruz better not go to any barista and get anything because basically he bashed every barista as if they were an idiot and that truthfully that's stupid he also seemed to bash education i couldn't figure out what that point was people just studying random shit why would they want to he was just bashing education in general that was from promising young woman that was carrie mulligan oscar nominee and i i should have been oscar winner as far as i'm concerned she could have been an oscar winner but she did not win but a a nephew adrian was Adrian here? Yeah, Adrian. He's my nice. nephew. Too. He's, okay. Hey, nephew Adrian. Our nephew. Hey, Larissa. I said hi to Larissa earlier. Taryn, just say hi to you. Anyway, so anyway, okay. So Ted, I'll, Ted so better not go into any don't coffee shop. Go to Starbucks. They're gonna spit. You your better not to go to anything that says don't coffee. Don't do bitch. it. Don't get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this Ted Cruz's? That's what's gonna happen. And it don't make any goddamn sense. It doesn't. First, he's saying someone who had spent seven years. Now, okay, if you don't want to go to college, you ain't going to spend seven years. It's too expensive. Who can do with that? All of a sudden, you said some barista uh, without a college education. Guess what, boo? If he's a barista, he has a job. <laughs> barista is a job. I have friends who work for Starbucks who make a very good living. That's what they want to do. Why are you judging that shit? I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm done with with Kent, thank you. Jeffrey Warren, Cancun Ted, thank you. Done. What's on? What's on Truth? So- I'm... This is the image you want. This is what you're going to talk about. This drinks a little much. This is what you're going to talk about right there. <laughs> so, our, 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 what we loved this week was this particular Truth Social. Text that well, I don't know what it is. Text things that he's there's said. confusion. Basically, take a second to read this. 
I'll read it if you can't read it. There, there seems are... to be confusion as to the picture where documents were sloppily thrown on the floor and then released photographic. They were released photographically for the world to see, as if that's what the FBI found when they broke into my home. Wrong. They took them out of the carton, spread them around the carpet, making to look like a big find for them. They dropped them. Not me. Very deceiving. And remember, we could have no represent representative, including lawyers, present during the raid. They were told to wait outside. So this is what he did. This is what he did in that text. He admitted in the text that he knew the files were there, but like contained in some fashion and not strewn about the floor. This is what he admitted in that. That's, that's a weird word. What? Strewn. 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 It's like trice. I had that in a crossword puzzle. I said trice. trice? Anyway, continue. Strewn. Strewn. All I know is this. He totally. Is that you just told him that you, you knew, knew the shit was in your motherfucking house, you bitch. You just did something you shouldn't have. What? Do you want me to say? Oh my God. I pooed it. Just a little bit. But it was like this. It's enough. Why are we so off center? I keep moving this. What I didn't know. Oh, Melissa Manchester's here. <gasps> What's happening? Melissa Manchester's entered the conversation, y'all. Melissa Manchester, please say hi. So that people can say, oh my God, he knows Melissa Manchester and Jennifer Lee Warren. That's all I can say. There's some That's all I can say. I have to say, they're just amazing people everywhere. Melissa Manchester, if you're hearing my voice, one of these days I want to meet you. And Michael and I would love to come over to your abode and we will bring cocktails, something like oh, this. Oh shit, come over to my abode. I, I have an abode. <laughs> we, we, we have an abode. We want our abode, if that's what we, we want. We have that's an abode. Think of all the albums that we have. I don't think you've ever... Manchester. We'll just play them. Well, I don't know if that might be a weird thing. Coming from the rain. Anyway. Oh, my God. So, anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? This just... A... You can't... You can't... Melissa Manchester, okay. you made me lose my and train of Kathy thought. And Kathy Walker for the win. Blame it on the cucumber. <laughs> Y'all, you think that the cucumber juice Which would are... dilute the vodka. Exactly. It don't. Exactly. It now I'm just here. All right. So anyway, what was I saying? We were talking about the Trump documents that were class 48, by the way, 48 empty folders that were yeah. marked class 11,000, 11,000 things he took from there. He gonna be arrested. Well, maybe he won't. No. Maybe not. I don't believe so. Maybe not. I know. I would love to say. I would love to be able to say, guess what? He's arrested. But y'all know. Why isn't he arrested now? He's admitted it. Yes. And on both true social, he's talked about having the shit. And he's not arrested? I have an image. What's the image, boo? <laughs> he ain't winning everywhere. Mary Peltola. The first indigenous woman to win from Alaska. So I would love to know how to say this correctly. Maybe you guys know how to do this. She's the first. She's of Yupik ancestry, and it's you. Why you? We couldn't. We tried to find like someone pronouncing, and I couldn't find it. On top of me. <laughs> top. Top. <laughs> Y U P apostrophe I K like or but a bit of Yupik that's what I want to say but of Yupik ancestor yes yeah, she's the first person in the house of representatives of that's a native Alaskan now granted granted because the uh, what's his face Dan Don Young died in office he there will be another election why are you laughing in October, November I don't know why I don't laughing. know You're, whatever anyway but I I was I, I just yay okay come on. Native Alaskan in the House of Representatives. Yep. Let's give it up. Mary Peltola, indeed. Yes, very happy about that. This, this like cucumber drink is, I'm okay. sweating. This next, this yes, next. Let's go, what's next? This is important. <laughs> how do you and I know how to do that? I haven't figured that out yet. 
Because we're about to celebrate in October our 25th anniversary. So. 25 years. The thing that has driven me, not crazy. I oh, my God. What? In one month from today, we will have been together 25 years. 25 years. What day is today? The 4th. Oh, wow. Yeah. 25 years. You moved in. Well, no, we met on the 4th of October I, uh, in 1997. That is the truth. We met. Yeah. Well, I thought, okay. You not we, the 1st, but the 4th. We don't remember this. No, no, I no, said no. we met on the 1st. No, no, no. Stop with the we. We met... Sebastian, our son, is yelling. He leaves September 13th, y'all. We'll talk about that soon. No, we, we met October 4th, 1997. That is when we met. You moved in October we, 7th, 1997. We met October 4th. Yes. And I moved in October 7th. Yes. Three days. He worked very well. He did a good job. <laughs> I'm... Jennifer word, I am not drunk. He's thorough. Don't you love when people say Thera? Okay. Okay. He is, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. We have to do this. I, oh my God. I'm empty again. This thing oh, is and empty. I hit the wrong it's person. empty again. Drunk already. Well, but, I, you might be drunk too. You misspelled my first name. At least I saw that. Okay. Can we do this? Go! No, this, I'm distilled. No, no, no. This is good. No, okay, the distilled is what we're talking about. No! Bethany said, I am distilled. But we're moving, we're working with that word in a different way. So right, Anderson on. Distillery and Grill. Does anyone know where that is? Anderson Distillery and Grill. Yes. It is in Roanoke, Virginia. I'm Texas. Texas. I know. I didn't know there was a Roanoke, Texas. Go! Roanoke, Texas. So in Roanoke, Texas, at Anderson Distillery and Grill. Anderson Distillery. <laughs> And Krill, they have a drag brunch. Patty, you know, he's wrong. You know we like talking about our drag brunches. Well, the thing is, I find it absolutely ludicrous that of all the things we can like stomp under our foot and yell at and you know shake our hands and Not, do whatever. No, certain people. No, 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 no. But just us as a united nation. Right. That the thing. Okay, Bethany's saying we're drunk. I think we are. Um, but the thing that amazes me is that a drag brunch no matter what state, is evidently that is the thing that's ruining your children. Thoughts? Jonathan Pitts, he said, they say a drag brunch. A drag brunch. Are you saying more? I thought you were well, what? No, I'm saying that So that is what people think is ruining. They, they put the word out at Anderson Distillery and Grill that they were doing a drag brunch. This is in, once again, Roanoke, Texas. I don't know where Roanoke is. I imagine... It ain't in Virginia this time. No, it's not in Virginia this time. But this is how the people had to dress to protect the people inside the bar. I'm going to repeat that sentence. This is how the people had to protect the inside of the bar. So the people that came to the drag brunch, he farted again. You are so freaking Whitney right now, I can't tell you. Did y'all watch that series, Bobby mm -hmm. and Whitney? Why did you do that on me? Because it's in me. I didn't do it on you. Why can't you be a wasp? You withhold it. You go, I am not going to do that because nothing happens below my waist in front of other people. <laughs> That's why wasps have all that disease and shit. In no, stomach. we have a lot of disease. Anyway, can I, we're never going to get through <laughs> this if you do this. I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to get through this if you don't support Go! Me. No, support. I love you. That's right. So this is how, wait, I got to repeat this. This is how the people that had to protect the drag bar. The, it's not a drag bar. It's a bar that has an occasional drag event in Roanoke, Texas. This is how they had to dress, like this, with the, with the rainbow armbands, that kind of military gear, and an AK-47-like, they always say like in the articles, like, you know, military. This amazes me, one, that we have to deal with this, that this family wants to do this drag brunch and then they have to do this. This is what we're told is there, right? Another counter protester at the drag brunch in Roanoke, Texas came prepared for violence. He's carrying a baseball bat with razor wire wrapped around it. So that's why we have these people dressed like that because there are people with baseball bats with razor wire. And just to give you, because we also, you know, there's always video. 
right? People like saying shit. Here's the video of a protester at the bar. Hey, she just spit on me. She just she just spat on me. Well, what did you call them earlier when you were talking to them? Didn't you call them a bunch of fucking pussies? No, I called them pussies. Yeah, I mean, these people here. No, just the ones that are wielding AR-47. So what are, you, what are you here to do today? I'm here to support people that don't indoctrinate and groom little eight-year-old kids. Indoctrinate and groom eight-year-old kids. So we're the country of freedom where you can do whatever you want until, until someone says evidently we're indoctrinating our children indoctrinating whatever. Now we have taken our children to a drag brunch in our life. We have taken our children to drag to brunches. It wasn't a lot. It was one. It was at the Abbey. It was here at the LA. Abbey here in West Hollywood. And it was Father's Day. It was Father's Day. They were having a Father's Day celebration for queer fathers. It wasn't like there was, I don't know, humping on I can't imagine. There was nothing. No. There was, oh, what there was. Yes. Uh, this is what I You're remember. Say something. Is that there was one white queer man who was pissed off because Wait, there no, were no. so many children there. You're, you're going down the wrong path. You're, you're, going down you're the wrong saying path. the wrong story in this moment. What there was. <laughs> is that, what was it? It doesn't matter. So, so here is the. I'm going to show you an image. So these are. This is the dad and his two sons, and then the dad and and, and his empty. I know. I'm, I'm getting there. We're getting to all of it. I can't remember. Do you remember what the drag queen's name is? I love the name. Sunday brunch. I'm not going to read through all this. Oh, there it is. Trisha Delish. That's Trish it. Delish. I literally put that up for that. Don't worry about this. So here is okay. So there is the dad and his two sons at Anderson's Bar and Grill. And then there next to the image, there's Trish Delish all in the, the kind of teal color. And I, you know, good for Trisha Delish, good for the dad, good for supporting your son to do what the son wants to do. And, and they knew, they knew going into this. This is where I am with, where are we going in society? They knew going into this that people would be against it. They knew going into this. I'm so, my focus is just unparalleled. Focus. They knew going into this that people would be there. And that's why they had to have these people with the AK-47s in Texas. Where are we in life? Where are we in the friggin' country? Thoughts? Here are my thoughts. Yes, I know you have them. No, I have them. Um... Everything that we are discussing and talking about within this, um, what what the MAGA crowd is calling wokeness, is really all it has to do is is with Damone. Hey, uh, my nephew's here, who is a minister. This is a perfect time for you to talk. Chime in. Um, the reason this is happening is because of religion, because religion has been distorted into such a place that you can't even recognize it now. Now, I'm an atheist. I'm a full-blown... You should tell people how you were raised, though, because you weren't I was raised. I was raised Baptist, and then we were pushed into the... Um, well, I'm talking. Would you make more drinks? No, we're going to finish the show in, like, two seconds. Just we were raised in a uh, Baptist household, and then my brother became a Pentecostal minister. So then we moved to Pentecostal. Because that's what we, I don't know. And that is the most gay hating, uh, progressive hating um, place I've ever been in my life. And so, but we saw on, on yesterday was um, th um, um, a movie, what is it? They, they did a whole movie thing yesterday. Uh, where every movie was three dollars yesterday. Oh, we went to a movie. We went so to, we went to a movie. Honk, so we're gonna see Honk for Jesus Honk for because Jesus. I have friends in there and I want to support my friends. Why didn't you know the friends that you had? And um, I anyway, um, I went to go see that, and it. So what it we should really, say is it stars Sterling K. Brown, and, Sterling and, and Brown, Regina Hall, Regina it Hall, was, it was really and Devere Rogers, my buddy. That, that's your buddy. And Nicole Bahari. Hi. You know anyway, Nicole Bahari? Yeah. You anyway. Tell me I brought up Nicole Nahar. You didn't say, oh, I know her. I know a lot. But you don't tell me yeah, I, a lot. Mm -hmm. Got some things you want to keep on your side. You're just so Anyway, good. but it, it speaks on the hypocrisy of religion. And I think that is where we are right now. And which is why people in droves are not going towards religion at all. In fact, they're leaving religion in droves. 
because the tenets of religion, which is like, love thy neighbor. Do unto others. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. But nay, what's up, girl? And you know, all these very simple things that is the beauty of religion yeah. have now been distorted so much into a narrative of a Aryan white man who came and saved everyone in the fucking Middle East that we don't want a part of that. But how does that play into honk for Jesus? Because Well, no, because it's also about the hypocrisy of like but that uh, wasn't about, financial religion. But what that, is it? That um, wasn't celebrating the Aryan white man. No, but it talks about the fact. No, we as black folks, where did we learn this Christian belief? Probably from we learned people. it from our slave owners. Yeah. The slave owners who <laughs> beat that shit into us. It's so good to have a drink when you drink all yours. Rachel Malcolm Horse Hay. David Stinkles Hay. But they beat that shit into us. And then all of a sudden, why are we still following this path? Of what it is. I mean, I, uh, Damone, can I have you on next week, baby? Can we have you on next week and talk about this? Because it, it, religion and black folks is something we need to talk about. And I'm going to have a couple people on. They use the Bible as, thank you, Jennifer Lee Warren. They use the Bible to justify slavery. And it's There's just. slavery all through the Bible. Yeah. But they use it to justify. Yeah. To this day to this day. And so when you have these things of people coming in that are based on the Bible, where homosexuality was never mentioned, the word, and yet in the new version of the Bible, homosexuality is mentioned. Come on, y'all. Well, the other thing that's just, happening I'm in a lot of done. these churches is that you have... I stole my husband's drink. I'm sorry, you may have it. But the other thing that's happening is that they have in these in the pulpit you have people doing um, you have people doing um, uh, politics. They're politicking. Yeah, right? they're saying vote for whoever, and they end up voting really quite against their own interests quite often, which I, I don't understand. I don't know, but it's, but the Bible doesn't just not justify white folks justify it. And we need to Bernard, have this conversation. Bernard says something interesting, too. That scene in 12 Years a Slave, where slave owners distort the Bible to justify him being called master. I yeah. mean, and, and all of that, absolutely. I think this is a conversation that would be great to have on this thing. The thing is, we need to bring in someone who Well, knows, Damone. Because you and I are, we're periphery now. But Damone, my, but my yes. nephew Damone could do it. Um, if you want to come on, we should do it. What else? I'm drunk. I have one more image. Oh, we got another image, y'all. Well, because, you know, I just feel like we'll end on an image. I don't know. I don't. Is it Spider-Man? <sighs> CNN interviewed Liz Cheney. Here's the image. I think it needs to be entitled. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I just think. You know, as as much as Liz Cheney has been the mic dropper of the January sixth committee, she's literally like, she's literally like, bam every single time she's on, she's boom. She's surrounded in her home. And like, granted, I don't know truly if this is her home or dad's home. I don't know. Somewhere in Wyoming, I imagine. Perhaps not, but CNN chose to film it there. <laughs> I just want to say this. Taxidermy. <laughs> Damone's going to come on. We're going to do this next study. Damone, we will talk. I love you, my nephew. I love you dearly. Um, but can we talk about... Uh, we're going to end this with talking about this this half hour. Which one? Liz? Liz Cheney. Okay. Yes. She is doing the right thing on the January 6th committee. I don't well, know why she, she's doing it, but she's doing it. She believes... But let's believe. But no, no, no. We have to, can I just finish this sentence? Finish out? it! She believes that Trump is. I'm out of vodka. Can you, okay, when you do that, it just, it, it really shows how much you disrespect me. <laughs> I made you choke. 
No, but she believes that Trump shouldn't be ruling this country. It's very simple. Yes. Now, granted, she has a totally different set of beliefs in terms of how to run the country, but she does not believe Trump should be running the country. No, but to have a vote with him 98% of the time. I don't know if that's quite the right thing. No, that is. I don't believe that. No, either. it was said today I on... And then we can't trust CNN anymore. Not the CNN is run by who? CNN who was bought CNN by... Who? Was, I can't remember the motherfucker's name. But was bought by a billionaire. I'm a sip of my drink that I, I cast for the a very end. MAGA person. I don't know. Don't, wait, anyway. can, we, can we finally say goodnight to people's? I don't know. Say goodnight. You're, oh, you look so cute. I did, didn't I? Hold on, let's see if I can do it again. Boozing. Boozing. Boozing with gays.